these inventions prove that the future is here. A flying car. It seems like we've been waiting forever to be able to go from freeway to the skies. In April of 2024, Slovakian company Klein Vision debuted its air car. The company says the air car has completed over 520 takeoffs and logged more than 130 flight hours. The air car looks like a sports car with the wings of a small airplane. It flies at speeds of up to 120 miles per hour and can soar to altitudes up to 8,000 feet high. In 2022, Inside Edition reporter Victoria Ricano experienced flying a jetpack. Is it safe to fly in a jetpack? It is safe, yeah. We've got it. The, the, the safest thing or the thing that makes it safest is a remote control system. So no matter what the trainee does, we can take control away from them. David Mayman's company Jetpack Aviation in Moorpark, California is the only place in the world that makes high-powered jetpacks and trains people how to use them. How high can you actually go? Kind of limited to the tether line here, so you go up to about 30 feet. Victoria was fitted with all the necessary safety gear, including aluminum pants. These pants go up to my neck. This is gonna be your Sparco flight suit. It's uh, protective motorsports, so uh, it'll keep a lot of the heat away from your body. Okay, I'm ready to go, ready to take flight. Arms up, we're gonna go walk in sideways, okay? Mm -hmm. Throttle. Throttle. Turn direction left and right. Left, right? Left and right. I don't have to hold myself up. You're actually gonna have to hold these up. Finally, lift off. Amazing job, Victoria, amazing <laughs> job. Well done. I mean, it tastes good. Yeah, it's, it's really well prepared. good. If you didn't know, you wouldn't really question it. We call it cultivated chicken. In 2023, cultivated chicken was grown in a lab and sold as a product of Good Meat. Good Meat co-founder and CEO Josh Tetrick told CBS News. Cultivating meat is a way of starting with a cell and ending with chicken, beef, or pork without all the other issues in between. Good Meat says it offers meat without butchery because the meat they provide doesn't come from living animals. Cells from chicken or eggs are extracted without killing the animal. Those cells are then immersed in nutrients similar to what the animal would feed itself in nature and are kept in bioreactors. Those cells divide and grow, creating meat without the animal. The genetic profile is the same as a slaughtered chicken. The company says lab-grown meat uses less water and less land, as well as no antibiotics or hormones. Meat grown without an animal host is legal in the United States. The FDA approved the use of good meat and lab-grown food from another company, Upside Foods, in June of 2023. While it may make appearances at restaurants, don't expect to see lab-grown meat on grocery store shelves anytime soon. Good meat would need to ramp up production to meet that scale of public demand. Would you live in a house that was printed out? In 2021, a Dutch couple got the keys to their very own 3D printed home. Elise Lutz and Harry Deckers toured their two-bedroom concrete bungalow. The pair said they felt safe inside because it reminds them of a bunker. Their home was printed in 24 parts in a nearby factory before it was taken to the plot and assembled. Designers say the house is up to Dutch building standards. Even though 3D printing homes is a new concept, it's reportedly a way to cut costs, reduce the amount of cement used, and in the Netherlands, it provides another option where there is a shortage of experienced bricklayers. This robot from London paints human-like portraits with the help of her artificial intelligence technology-filled arm. I have a lot of inspirations from different places. I'm deeply inspired by the visual arts, also literature, Dante, Orwell, Aldous Huxley. Ada's been around since 2019, but in 2022, with the help of this upgraded robotic arm, she used paintbrushes like human artists. To do so, the camera lens in her eyes takes photos of the subject. It takes 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes to finish a portrait, and the results are pretty legit. So what does Ada think of her skills? I think it depends on what is art. Is art supposed to be good or to create discussion? It's all about what the aim of the art is. To create a piece of art for the audience, to bring together the audience and the artists who are always changing as well, to make us aware of the reality of the world. Ada's work sells for big bucks too. In 2019, her artwork made over a million dollars. So is she the real deal? 
Ada is art, Ada produces art, she's a confusion, she's unsettling, she's somehow problematic. There's something slightly wrong about having Ada as a robot artist, and that is the whole point of the project. Could artificial intelligence pose a threat to human life? A group of AI experts think it could. In 2023, a nonprofit organization, the Center for AI Safety, issued an open letter signed by more than 300 people, including the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, and the so-called godfather of AI, Jeffrey Hinton. The letter was brief, just one sentence, but the words packed a powerful and potentially scary punch. Mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other societal scale risks such as pandemics and nuclear war. Should we be scared? These experts are saying yes, and they're not alone. That same year, Elon Musk, along with over 1,000 tech researchers and executives, wrote another missive about the dangers of artificial intelligence. It asked for a six-month pause on AI development, stating the technology posed profound risks to society and humanity. While the currently available AI doesn't seem to have the capabilities to independently cause such devastation, the Center for AI Safety is delivering this warning before it's too late. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendell.